Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ryan Liu and today I will be sharing with you how to buy a music instrument and also I'll be sharing with you my newly bought uh, violin. So I often get asked by students where they can get music instruments for their child or they want to learn a new instrument where they can get and what price can they expect. So if you're looking for instruments like violin, guitar, ukulele, stuff like that the price range will usually be lower as compared to piano double bass trombone tuba etc however whatever instruments that i buy i always follow a certain guideline and i think this should be helpful to you so i usually categorize the price range in five categories firstly cheap and not usable affordable and usable but sound quality isn't great. Affordable and usable and sound quality is decent. Slightly above affordable and sound quality is great. Sky is the limit and the sound quality has a character of its own. So when you are at this level, it really depends on whether you like the character of the sound of the instrument or not. So for the first category, what is cheap and not usable? It is when the instrument is very cheap to the extent that it has problems within the first month that you play. Maybe the tuning pack is loose. Maybe the strings are constantly getting out of tune. Maybe the instrument body is easily breakable, stuff like that. And I will strongly advise you to never go into this category because it is the same as throwing money down the sea. Next category is affordable and usable, but the sound quality isn't great. This category is where a lot of parents may start to think that maybe I should get this type of instruments first so that when my child has a stronger interest, I can afford a better instrument. Personally, I will say that it is still better not to buy this category because although the instrument is functionable, the sound quality can be a huge turnoff sometimes. If you want to play for at least a year, you want to have something that is at least pleasant to hear. So I will still advise against buying this category. The third category is affordable, usable, and the sound quality is decent. This category is always where I buy my instruments because they are not super expensive. They are very usable. The sound quality is decent enough for me to keep for many years to come. The fourth category is slightly above affordable and the sound quality is great. This is a great category where a lot of people will start to settle down because in this category, your instrument pretty much can last for many years to come. The sound quality is great. You will really, really enjoy the experience of playing the instrument. The fifth category, I name it as the sky is the limit because the sky is really the limit. You can have a piano or a guitar that costs you thousands of dollars. You can have a violin that costs you millions of dollars. This is really where the sky is the limit. But it doesn't mean that you may like the instrument. The reason that I say that is because different instruments at that fifth category has very different and unique characteristics, uh, especially with the sound. So if you're not sensitive enough to be able to enjoy that, then there's really no use apart from flaunting to everyone that you have this instrument. A very important note is that if you are buying for your child, it is crucial to know that the size of the instruments do play a big role. For instruments like piano, you don't really have to carry it too much because the piano is fixed with its size. But if you're looking for instruments like violin or guitar or cello, there are different sizes with the instrument. So you will have to change the size as you grow older. So same thing, I will always advise parents to bring their child down to the music store to choose the size and I will apply the same five category mindset to choose the instrument. And a very important note that I would like to share is that you must always remember that a good instrument doesn't make you a good musician. A good musician can play on any instrument apart from the first category where the instrument is not usable to begin with. So never think that if you have a lot of money and you buy the fifth category where the sky is the limit, you will suddenly become Franz Liszt or Chopin. It just doesn't work that way. So there's also one reason why I always buy at the third category where it is affordable and the sound is 
decent enough. The reason is that I believe that my skill should always be more important than the instrument itself. Last but not least, after sales service is also extremely crucial. You do not want to buy an instrument that has no after sales service and when you have a problem, you don't know who to look for because you may end up having a very frustrating time not knowing what to do with your instrument. One of the most reputable brands is Yamaha and they are well known to be a very big brand, a very strong brand that has good after sales service. So for piano, I will always advise my students to get a Yamaha piano because whatever happens, they can still help you to service. Next up, I will be sharing with you my new instrument. So the reason I bought the violin is that currently I own a piano, a guitar, a cello, and I am thinking of having some fun with more instruments. Violin is actually an instrument that I start taking lessons when I was about six, I think. I took lessons for about six months or a year and I stopped. And the reason was because I wanted to focus mainly on piano. But after losing touch with the instrument for many years, when I started to explore more instruments, I got in touch with violin again. So I've decided to buy a violin myself so that I can play it. And if you have not watched my video where I share with you how to play any instruments, make sure you click here where I will put in a card where you can learn how to play any music instruments. Let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see me playing with this new guy. I literally just came back from the shop and I just started shooting this video. So I have not really set up the violin and stuff like that. It's fresh out of the box. So I'm really excited to test it out. Last but not least, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button. It will really help a lot in the YouTube algorithm so that more people can watch contents like that. And also do let me know what type of contents that you guys like so that I will be able to cater to your taste as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.